All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Now we play as the Murray. The Murray is here. Oh yeah, that's a good start. Controller's already dying. It, well, let's just say I wasn't holding forward while he was walking forward. Oh, well that's convenient. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Timely subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. <laughs> uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. The guru will start luring miners to a position near this <gasps> giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some I don't think we should be teaching anyone how to, to like eating miners. I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> the miners. He might even take care of our mask of dark earth. I hate problems. the English language. There's <laughs> miners and miner. Miners and miners. It's, it's a different time. word. Spelled different. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds the same. <laughs> I sense nothing but goodness here. Or not. God damn it. Okay. I gotta get used to the controls again. Take a bite of this. Okay, we're making good progress. <laughs> Delicious miners. Don't stop talking. <laughs> Just stop talking. Am I dead? I'm not dead yet. Okay, we're good. It's alright. I can make this work because I can just fucking murder, murder the hell out of you them. Can do, you can murder these delicious miners, Chris. <laughs> Dark, someone's gonna take that out of context someday. And you're gonna regret that. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not true. true. That was more true than people taking it out of context. You say that, but never underestimate the internet. You're right. God fucking, can you people fuck off? I don't even need the other ones, I just need the. Need the kangaroos, not the uh, dingoes. Dingoes. Like we're saying, the bayou, the bayou. <laughs> like I say in the bayou, bayou. I mean, this is okay if you want to find fun. It's not that bad. It's just one last thing. A big, tasty flashlight guard. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember. You'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. He says that, but what he means is kill. <laughs> I'll need to kill him. Keep the murder him. He's way over there, huh? Oh, this is that shooter guy. <laughs> Double KO. First, you'll need to sneak up on the miner with a flashlight in order to grab him. Yeah, Bentley, I got you. I heard you. I just don't care. There's, um, a new commercial I've been seeing, and it was, it's a, it's a wrestling commercial. Yeah. And, um, it's a doctor, and he goes, and the piece, one of the nurses is, so is he out? And the doctor does the, uh, you can't see me hand. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I think he's out. Yeah, he's out. It made me laugh. I'm with that. There's like, there's been like a couple of wrestling movies out lately, which is interesting to me. Not, not even movies, but like, just a commercial one. It's just like, that's good. Uh huh. Hey, cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of Dark Earth. Let's oh no, see all Dark your hard Earth. Work this croc pays off. Some like Avatar shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
The only real question is why wouldn't the mask just connect to the alligator? Good question. When do masks get away? Since we came to this world? Since the mask of dark, uh, no, dark earth. Mm hmm. Uh, existed, Bentley. Come on. All, you should know a mask of dark earth runs away. Stupid turtle. You can <laughs> feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the Mask of Dark Earth. It's the Mask of Dark to destroy Earth. It. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The Mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunder flop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. Got that, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> I love how, how in the first game it was like, okay, this plan's a little out there. Second game, okay, this plan's a little more out there. <laughs> and now we're just to the point where it's just like, I don't know. M Murray will dress up as the moon spirit, the mortal enemy of the crescent mask. <laughs> We will then convince the Guru to take out the Apache helicopter! <laughs> guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I hope. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. <gasps> Get too close, and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it, and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. What's that about now? <laughs> now, Chris, you just need to... <laughs> Ram a few guards in there, I, Chris. I didn't remember what any of the buttons Oh my did. god! I remember what the buttons are now. We should be okay. Oh, I can definitely ram a few guards in there. If you know my- if you catch my- oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was like, the minute I let Joey turn back around, I'm like, god damn it. Okay. Now that I've relearned the controls, should be fine. You just need to ram a few yards into it. Yes, I just also gotta figure out where the fire is. Okay, okay. I got this. Or. No. You had to jump off beforehand, I think? No, I was supposed to ram into it, it flew away. <laughs> For some reason, it was able to tell I was too close. Oh, I gotta jump off before it gets too close. Yes. Okay. I get this. Uh, that's good, because at least one of us does. I get what's going on. They don't want to shoot the guru, I guess? Uh, it's because I'm too close. They'll, ah. they'll try and hit you with their butt of their weapon first before... Uh, before shooting Before they you. TAKE THE SHOT! What? what? That, how was that too close? That's bullshit. I know. This is bullshit. I don't respect this. <laughs> I just want to be the guru. I just want to be the guru. The guru. The guru. The guru. Oh. Alright, attempt number three. This should be the one. Attempt number seven. Burger King Footless. <laughs> A couple more direct hits like that, and that gyrocopter will be <laughs> I felt it. I don't blame you, man. Like they say in the bayou. Bayou. Is he still up here? He needs to get hit more. That thing's on its last leg. Yeah. 
One more. Grab one more guard into it, and it's finished. Boy, it's a good thing the guards instantly respond if you're not close enough to where they were originally. Or else this could take a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's... I like that when you take over this guy, he has the... The uh, gun. Oh, yeah. The light on the gun there. It is pretty cool. Behold, good. the moon spirit rises! Woo! Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. <laughs> Oh, the, the power of the boulder! <laughs> we got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally what? managed to catch up. Drat! We can't She's stop always the behind the trail. We'll okay. just have to give her a wide berg. Roger, applying wide berg. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. I don't know what it is about that joke specifically, but it gets me every time. <laughs> the for wide just how stupid it is. Bang the wide gate. Here I come, master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. All oh, in. of course. You say of course now, Derek, but you have oh, no idea where I we're going with this. Here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now that's not nice. Oh, Derek, we haven't even started. We haven't even started yet with this mission. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Karma Larja here? They will pry off the mask. Oh god, I don't remember what any of the buttons do. Harma Larja. Harma Larja. Oh, she's shooting back. Yes, she is. <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, that is indeed what she is doing. Still with the inverted controls, huh? Can't just let me have this kind of... I was really hoping though. <laughs> I wish. It would make this a lot easier. Because we gotta kill Karma Larja. <laughs> Leave the shot. <laughs> Take the shot! Take the shot, Bradley! Take the shot! <laughs> Take the shot. Take the shot! Before it's too late! <laughs> Take the shot! Hmm. So I guess in the new Call of Duty. Do you get to a, take the shot? There's a scene where you, um, or a mission where you, like, break, you're fighting terrorists in, like, a domestic area, mm -hmm. and there's, like, a baby, and if you kill the baby, it, it, all your squad mates are like, what the fuck, man? And you get a game over. That does sound like Call of Duty, though. <laughs> and if you, uh... Call of Duty loves giving game overs for shooting people that you're technically not supposed to shoot. And then if you keep doing it, though... It boots you out of the fucking um, campaign Finally, and have to start over from scratch. That's funny. Kick him. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. There's an entire subcategory of porn for this. <laughs> yeah, so Derek, remember in like episode one or two of this game where I was like, yeah, the relationship between Sai and Carmelita gets a little explicit? It gets very explicit. I was not kidding. Oh my god, I don't, I don't want to know what's about to happen, Chris. <laughs> You're not gonna... No, I'm not even gonna say it. Because so if got, I say it, we got, we got furries and gigantors now. <laughs>
would be fine if this wasn't so fucking, like, analog stick wasn't so fucking shit, too. Makes it way worse. Hit once there, Chris. The first one was cheap. Yeah. So we don't count. This is bullshit. And now she's even bigger. Yeah, it's going well. She's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are we doing now? This is bad. We need a new strategy and fast. Force just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not the point. It's all about <laughs> taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy! You got a better idea? Yeah, but we would need a giant... Fighting robot! Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. <laughs> Giant fighting <laughs> robot! Mega Man! So, uh, Derek, yep, explicit was... enough for you yet? That was pretty explicit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Their troopers are in route. Why are they. Because. <laughs> Just because. Well, why are they shooting? <laughs> because. Why? They, don't, they don't think this is wrong with the giant. So, we have, now at this point we have, uh, furries, Derek, gigantism, gigantism. Oh, you can climb the tail, too. I was really, I was really dedicated to do it just for the meme. <laughs> Ram Jack's tail. I was really like, yeah, you know what, alright. Uh, and now we got, again. and now we got climbing up her boots too, that was a, I don't, I don't like that, I come down, uh, as opposed to some people. Hey, why, 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 why would you do that? Why? <laughs> this part doesn't seem at all too difficult. No, it's actually probably one of the easiest missions in the entire game, mainly because the hit detection on this is weird. I swear to god though, this entire boss fight was just how many fetishes can we make in one boss fight? <laughs> now they're shooting at it. It's just it's, yeah, no, I killed them. everyone. No, I killed everyone. <laughs> Again, remember when I also said there's a lot more just straight up murder death in this <laughs> one? <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> just lay <laughs> conscious, helpless on the desert floor. 
Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Like being gentlemen. Her otherwise is otherwise known as being intellectuals. <laughs> turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty handed. <laughs> Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful. Empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmen began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. <laughs> for the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member. And the team would never be the same. <laughs> Edition of the good. But yeah, I swear to god that boss fight is literally how many finishes can we put into like one boss fight and then they just went for it? Flight of fancy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's just go for it. We have time kinda. Cutscene and then we end up. <coughs> Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress. Looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. <laughs> he soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat one. rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. A big time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. Pretty awesome. His online profile a few picture. Days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore worth her time. <laughs> so we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. That's how I got my pilot license, too. <laughs> we proved to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge. Even if we were it all up as we went along. They're made for each other. <laughs> we, it's, it's funny because the two of us just barely grew up out of the time period of that. The text Sly thing. Cooper and the gang yep. in Flight oh, of Fancy. <laughs> yeah, no, me, me and Derek just slightly grew up in the time period that was like, <laughs> you don't post fake photos online because like no one gave a shit by that point. <laughs> yeah. Because people didn't try and date through, like, chat rooms at this point. <laughs> this is a cool mission, though. Never far behind. Did you just murder that guy? Yes. For no reason. Absolutely. A base, base, there the base. So I think you'll, uh... I think you'll like the Baron, because he is also not your typical uh, Sly Cooper villain. As in, he's not a villain at all. <laughs> he's just a dude. He's who, just a he's... dude who hosts a really violent air gunning tournament for who can, and it's like battle to the death, pretty much. I love it. Also, our hideout is actually the uh, full club. Um, we'll get there. 
I shouldn't have pulled into this. I wanted to actually end the episode, but it should be alright. Awesome. Succeed in this year's aces competition. We all no. need to learn who we're flying against. What? Actually, they keep the flight yeah, roster no. a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane. And you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me. But those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give... Color commentary during the dog fights. It's He'll know boy. where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Yeah, and with that, <laughs> we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you then. Peace.